Today is beautiful Sunday. It uh, may not be Sunday where you're at, but it is here. And uh, by the time you get this, it's going to be morning. Right now, I just got back from music practice. But um, today, I've got a little lesson for you for something you to work on uh, using the C major 7th chord. It's a beautiful chord. And uh, so I'm going to show you some of the some of the, uh, just a little run around that with some chords that just happen to have an affinity for the C major seventh chord. And, um, but before I get started, I have to let you know that I started a membership page. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but if you look up at the above, up above, there's a, a lineup of, of different features on my channel. And one of them says membership. If you join the membership page, if you click on it, you'll see it's a monthly cost, uh, depending on the level that you pick. But you'll find that I have extra videos on there that no one else sees but you. So um, I'm also thinking about, you know, adding some extras to the lesson. You know, I, someone mentioned, hey, why don't you do some play alongs um, so you could people could uh, take what they learn and then play along uh, with it. So I'm going to be doing that type of thing. If if you go to the second tier of the membership, the addition will be that when I'm on a road trip, you'll get some personal videos uh, to watch that no one else will see. So um, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I, I thought I'd give it a try. So there we go. We started a membership page. My next thing is to get a logo out. We're working on that too. Uh, it's a lot to happen. I mean, a year isn't even up yet for this channel. I just started it in, uh, that started Notes and Notions. I've been on YouTube, but I didn't really start my own channel until February of this, of this year, 2024. So the growth has been pretty fast and it's all because of you. And, and I have to thank you for that. So, um, well, all right, well, let me get started on this, on this lesson. Um, and we're going to kind of keep it short today because uh, I'm tired and, and uh, we got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. I'm sitting here with my Krutz guitar. It's a beautiful instrument. Beautiful koa. This, this is solid koa on top. Just gorgeous. And it has every bit that bright sound that you get from koa. And let me just do this because I don't have... What I don't have is a, is a pickup in it yet. So I have it mic'd right now. Okay, so I think that's gonna be loud enough. All right. All right, hopefully you can hear my voice as well. So we're gonna talk about this the C major seventh chord for it just so ha happens that C major 7th likes chords like B's and D's. It likes C's. It even likes G's. So we're going to kind of use a little bit of all of that uh, in this little run that I'm going to put together. So uh, let's make the C major 7th chord. I'm going to show you the way I do it without having to bar it. I mean, if you want to bar it... Um, you can do that. Um, uh, actually, you could bar it, but I, I think it's better to, to do it this way. I think it sounds better. Um, once we make the chord shape, the way you're going to pluck it, the first uh, is you're going to use your thumb for the fifth string, and then these three fingers are going to pick up strings four, three, two. And for each of the chords, as we move up the neck, these three fingers are going to be taking care of four, three, two. And the thumb is going to go back and forth between string five and six. You'll see as we go along. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put the C, C major seventh chord together. Basically, the pointer finger is over here on the uh, fifth string, and it's at the third fret. And then you got this ring finger here at the fourth string, uh, and it's at the fifth fret, the middle finger, third string, 
uh, fourth fret, and then the pinky finger, second string, fifth fret. So there we have it. Remember strings, the, these fingers here is, is going to be taking care of uh, four, three, two, four, three, two, and the thumb, five. Or you can just... the C major seventh chord there. And so from there, why don't we move up to a B, to a B minor seventh. That sounded pretty good, didn't it? Okay, so um, that chord, uh, I've shown it to you several times. Now it's a great chord. Once again, you're going to put your pointer finger on the uh, seventh fret right there, uh, and the sixth string, skip the fifth string. So this time the thumb's gonna play this sixth string, and the fifth string's gonna get ignored. And um, the middle finger and the ring finger and the pinky are gonna line up on strings four, three, two, right there at the seventh fret. There we go, but skip that fifth string, and keep that pinky down there really good so you get nice clean sound. Pinky gets worked this today. <laughs> Yesterday I got a break. Today it's back to work. All right, so um, we got the C major seventh. We're gonna move up to the seventh fret. There's a B minor seventh. And now we're gonna do another C major seventh. Okay, it's the next fret up. You're gonna move your pointer finger and just put it on the next fret up on that sixth string and then you're going to make uh well let's just do it here on the second string put your middle finger and it's going to be at the eighth fret then at the ninth fret okay i have to i have to do this it, my, uh, you know, so i don't get mixed up so the ring finger is going to be <clears throat> on the fourth string and it's going to be the ninth fret and then on the third string the pinky finger is going to take care of the ninth fret so we have it it looks like this so see that this is like a, what this is it's like an a minor except you just slid it up to the eighth fret so that your, your middle finger is at the eighth fret and then the pointer finger is there at the eighth fret st sixth string so far, the C major seventh that thumb is taking care of is plucking the fifth string. Then you move up to the B minor seventh, and the thumb is plucking this sixth string. And then you move up to the C major seventh again. It's a duplicate of this one, just up higher. Again, you're going to be on the sixth string. Okay, so it sounds like this. So for there, we're going to go to the D chord. And we're going to move up to the C chord and back to the D chord. And, then, and when we close it, we're going to close it with a G. Okay? All right, so it's going to sound like this. Let's finish up that last part. So we go up here, we do the D chord, and then we slide up so that these two fingers here, the middle finger and the ring finger are at the fifth fret, covering strings three and two, and put that pointer finger on the uh, third fret first string. There it is right there. And that's a triad, and it's a C. triad has the three notes, the first, the third, and the fifth, and uh, we're not going to go into that right now, but we go from D to C, slide up two frets to D again. 
So D, C, D, and then close it with a G. Okay, so let's finish it up. We shouldn't have thrown that last part in there. It'll throw you. Just end it with a G. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to end this uh, video here. And uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, all your support. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, though, if you haven't. And I hope you all have a great day or night, wherever you are in this world.